welcome to Hummingbird Acres. I'm Deanne and today I'm going to talk to you guys all about the monarch butterfly. We had a butterfly visit a couple of days ago and she laid probably close to 50 eggs in our milkweed garden. So I collected as many as I could and I've been housing them inside in one of our tanks. And today I know they're almost ready to hatch. So we are going to get the tanks ready for all of our baby caterpillars. So I noticed that some of the monarch eggs that I collected earlier this week are starting to get the little black tip on them. So the monarchs are, the monarch caterpillars, are about ready to hatch. So I'm gonna do some work on the tank to get it all ready to go. I'm gonna put a wet paper towel in the bottom of it and I'm gonna go out and collect some more milkweed so that they have fresh milkweed when they hatch. So I will take you along for this adventure or ride, whatever you wanna call it. But I'm going to get the milkweed tanks ready for the caterpillars. <laughs> so this is our original milkweed garden and as you can see they are not very tall. So I'm just going to use my clippers and clip off a couple of leaves because I really need them to grow taller in order to sustain these caterpillars till they turn into butterflies. So I'm just gonna take a couple leaves and I will replenish the tank once they get a little bit bigger. I'm also gonna make sure that I take common milkweed because the leaves are bigger and they seem to last a little bit longer. So this one right here is not common. I think I'm probably gonna to have to come back here. So I'm gonna take a couple of leaves off of this one. and I think maybe a leaf off of that one. So I clipped four leaves and I think that will be enough to get me started. So I'm gonna head back inside and get everything prepped and ready to go. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the eggs out of the tank so that I can put a wet paper towel in the bottom. So I started off with about 30 eggs in this tank and it looks like all 30 are still looking really good. I also found five more um, a day later after I collected all of these. So I'm gonna add those to this tank. So there's gonna be 35 eggs in this tank. So I'm gonna first take a wet paper towel. It's not really wet, it's damp. And I'm doing this, and I'm actually going to rip this in half. I'm doing this to make the milkweed last a little bit longer. When you pull the leaves off, they start to shrivel pretty quickly, and I would like them to last a little bit longer. Then I'm going to take our fresh leaves, and I'm going to lay them the bottom side up, and actually while I'm doing this, I notice another egg. So now we're up to 36 eggs in this tank. So I'm going to lay the fresh leaves out, checking them for eggs as I go. Oh, 36, 37. So I'm gonna lay these out. And then I'm gonna take, and some of these bigger leaves that have an egg on them, that I'm gonna just trim them. That way, 
the egg has a better chance, the caterpillar, I'm sorry, has a better chance of finding the milkweed. So I'm just gonna lay the eggs on the fresh milkweed and then get it all closed back up. Oh, I actually intercepted a baby caterpillar coming out. This is so cool. He's just gonna go right in. That was so awesome. I've never had that happen before. So it was so cool to actually see the baby caterpillar. So it just goes to show you that I'm doing it, doing this at even more the right time. So once these caterpillars hatch, they will not stay in this tank. I do have an outdoor enclosure that I will transfer them all to, but right now the mesh on that outdoor enclosure is um, not fine enough, so they'll be able to get out. So that's why I put them in these aquariums and I've lined the top with an insect mesh, which is a lot finer, so they can't get out of this. So once they get a little bit bigger, I will transfer them outside. I am getting all of the caterpillar eggs. Okay. Yeah, so a couple, two of them have hatched. Why? Because they came out of their eggs. I don't know where they are. I see one. Oh, don't tip it down. Don't tip it down. Let, let go, please. Let go, please. <laughs> so all 37 eggs, caterpillars, are in the tank. They're on fresh milkweed. As I was transferring them back into the tank, I did have at least one come out of its egg and eat the egg while I was moving it around but I found two others. So now I have a total of three caterpillars in here right now. So I'm going to monitor them really closely the rest of the night and tomorrow. And maybe by Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll be able to move some of the bigger guys out to the Monarch House. So super excited. I've never had this many caterpillars this early in the season. So we'll have to see how everything goes.